name's Mike Smith. I'm a hospitalist uh, for my day job. Um, that keeps me busy, but uh, nights and weekends I do improv uh, at the Backline Comedy Theater here in Omaha. Uh, we've kind of been forced to transition to Zoom uh, comedy shows as well, so mm-hmm. I do improv on the internet as well. So I'm Katie Quartz. I um, am an assistant professor in the Department of Psychiatry. I'm also um, director of wellness education and research. So um, in my professional role, I mainly see child and adolescent uh, patients, but also have um, some dedicated time for research as well as wellness activities on campus. So Steve Wingle, I'm a UNMC grad and uh, geriatric psychiatrist, but I'm also the, the uh, vice, excuse me, assistant vice chancellor for campus wellness. Uh, and I work in the alumni office, Kath Hamilton. Um, I partnered with Dr. Wingle and Dr. Quartz, uh, our office did, to put this together. All right, great. Uh, so I normally do long form improv, uh, which usually involves multiple people on a stage uh, and an audience and those things. Uh, but like everything else, we're kind of making do with what we got. Uh, so for today, I'm going to do an improvised uh, news story um, about something other than the coronavirus. Uh, hopefully it's a little more uplifting. Uh, from you, the audience, I will need... Uh, where is the city that this news, it's a local news story. Where, what is the name of this city? Canyon City. What uh, is going to be the topic of the news uh, story? How about this? How about a small town in Nebraska wants to paint fire hydrants um, purple for some reason? Hello, good evening, Canyon City residents, and welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor, Greg Stevens. Uh, Tonight, we have uh, some high-impact stories to bring to you. Uh, Most notably, the uh, (coughs) the farm. Farming has been better than ever this year, and we'll hear about that. But first, we're going to hear something a little more controversial. We're going to take it to Greg out. I'm Greg the other Greg out in the field. Ah, thank you, Greg. I, I'm the better Greg. <laughs> well, anyway, you, uh, you were exactly right when you said there was controversy. Here we have the lone fire hydrant in our small town and there are talk of citizens who want to paint it purple. Yes, traditionally fire hydrants are red, but given the need to change things up, we have one resident who thinks we should paint this fire hydrant purple. That's right. We need to paint this purple. Every other city in America, in Nebraska, has red. We're going to have purple, and that's going to define our city going forward. And you think the harvest was good because the fire hydrants were red? No, they're good because the fire hydrants were about to be purple. I Thank you. Uh, I'll give you the mic when it's your turn. (laughs) Yes, this is uh, Steve Jorgensen, who uh, is in charge of the committee who wants to paint this, our single fire hydrant purple. Uh, There are concerns by many members of the city, town, excuse me, who uh, believe this to be maybe infringing upon the big red. (laughs) This is not about the big red. The whole state has the big red. We're gonna have the big purple. And Big Red are going to do their thing on Saturdays. Go Huskers! Uh, I said, please don't grab the microphone. I'm in charge of the microphone. Okay. I can't hold it with both hands. I have to do my earpiece. That's right, Greg. Uh, He, along with his organization, uh, thinks that this should be purple and that there's enough red in this state. And he, uh, along with his organization, are willing to take it to the courts. That's right, we are gonna take it to the courts and then we're not gonna stop there. Me and my organization, please stop grabbing that. Who's in your organization, by the way? It's me and my brother, Steve, and we think this should be purple. And we have another brother, uh, Rodney, who thinks purple stinks, but he's wrong. And this is gonna prove it when our fire hydrant's purple and it puts our city, Canyon City, on the map. I'm not gonna tell you again, please quit grabbing the microphone. Well, you heard it here first, Greg. There's a lot of talk, a lot of controversy about this fire hydrant going to be turning purple. 
Uh, Bad Greg, what are the odds that it will actually turn purple? I'm actually good, Greg. Uh, we've been over this. We went over it all last week, Greg. Uh, and I can't say that. I'm a reporter. Hmm, interesting. Uh, but I thought we agreed that I'm the good, Greg, and you're the bad, Greg. Nope, nope, nope. There's a voter poll on uh, Channel 8 News that said I'm the good, Greg, and you're the bad, Greg. Hmm, well, interesting. Coming up later in the hour, we're going, I'm going to talk for 20 minutes about he, how he's the bad, Greg, and I'm the good, Greg. All right. Awesome.